Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at life-saving facts. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. If a service dog comes up to you without its human, follow it. Yes, don't kidnap it, follow it. Man, dogs are amazing. <laughs> I've heard about so many stories where dogs will be like saving their owners. Not my dog though. <laughs> I feel like my dog would run away. I feel like Coco would literally not know what to do. Corgis are a bit selfish. <laughs> they have like this attitude, okay? If someone breaks into your home and you use a bat to protect yourself, put a sock over top of it so if they grab the bat, you can take it back because the sock will slide off. <laughs> That's funny, oh my god. That's such a movie scene scenario though. Someone's just trying to take your bat and <laughs> they're just holding a sock. Ugh. Oh. Why do I find these things funny? If you're at a bar or club and some jerk antagonizes you, don't let your ego get involved. Seen so many people get hurt when they could just walk away. Funny thing is most people think fighting back would defend their pride, but to me and a lot of other people, you just look insecure. Be the cool guy who just laughs it off. Yours sincerely, former bartender. I agree. I feel like it's so attractive when the guy just ignores some person trying to fight them and they just laugh it off. That is attractive. That is next level manly. If you are deep frying something and the entire freaking pot is on fire, do not put it out with water. One, turn off the gas or electric range. Don't pour water on it. Two, cover the pot with a lid. Don't pour water on it. Three, if you don't have a lid, dump baking soda on it. Don't pour water on it. If you pour water on it, your house might burn down and your face might melt. Oh, I always heard this advice. Never pour water into like hot boiling oil because, you know, water and oil just don't mix and in the end everything is just going to splash onto you. Not good. If you ever get held at gunpoint and asked to get in a vehicle, you fight with everything you've got to not do that. Run zigzag, punch and kick, do whatever even if you die in the process because 99% of the time, People who get in the car do not come back, especially if being moved from a public place to a private place. I mean, that's very true. If you're going to die anyways when they kidnap you, you might as well just do whatever you can, right? Even if you are going to die, because both ways you're going to die anyway. So might as well fight for it and maybe you get that 1% chance to live. Who knows? If you are being chased by a swarm of bees, do not jump into a lake or other body of water to escape. This isn't a cartoon. The bees will simply wait above the water to sting you. And now you have created a situation where you move slower, can't breathe as well, and suffer worse if the toxins affect you. You may even swallow a bunch of bees gasping for air. Also, water has unseen predators that you've now introduced to the equation. If pursued by bees, just keep running and running. They will defend their hive to a larger proximity, perhaps even a mile. Just run until they feel they've won. Bees are scary. They will wait for you above the water. Thank gosh for bees though, because I love honey. Bees are amazing. If the accelerator in your car gets stuck and you cannot stop, shift your car into neutral. Neutral, okay. Neutral, neutral, neutral. You know, this is always like a fear in me, you know? Sometimes I'm just like, what if my car just can't break? What if? What if? You know how you always see in movies how someone's like tampering with the brakes and then in the end <laughs> they just can't brake and you just don't know what to do. Trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right then move to the other side of the street or change direction or don't go down that dark alleyway. Mm. I agree. Always trust your gut feeling. If you're outside in a lightning storm and your hair starts floating it's too late to start running for shelter. Drop whatever you're holding, especially if metal. Crouch down on the balls of your feet. Brace the heels of your feet against one another so that if you get struck, the lightning might pass through your feet and back to the ground instead of through your body. Put your hands over your ears to protect them from the thunderclap that's coming. Close your eyes to protect them from lightning flash and open or breathe through your mouth to help keep the air pressure equalized. Pray if you believe it will help. <gasps> that's scary. Oh, it's too late. Mm, I didn't know it was too late if your hair starts floating. Assume other drivers are out to kill you. Healthy paranoia when paying attention to other drivers is a great basis for successful defensive driving. 
True. Just assume everyone is dangerous, okay? <laughs> See someone on the street, avoid them because they're dangerous. Who knows what they might do to you. Don't swim in Florida waterways at night, dusk or dawn. But if you should find yourself in the mouth of a hungry gator, don't go for the standard eye poke. Go for the nostril poke. Jamming your fingers in their nostril breaks the seal they use to keep water out of their airways when submerged and they will release you instantly. How the heck are you going to find their nostrils when you're like <laughs> in the mouth of a gator <laughs> and you're about to be eaten? How the heck do you find their nostrils? <laughs> I don't know. <even, laughs> how? Oh, how? How do you find their nostrils? Before you die, you got to find their nostrils. Actual fires spread shockingly fast. We all like to play what's the one thing you'd grab if your house was on fire. But the real right answer is that if it's not alive, you should leave it and get the hell out. People tend to imagine a fire burning on the floor in a corner somewhere. But the reality is often that it's running across the ceiling and circling around the walls. Just get out. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Just take everything that's living in there and get out. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.